Hello YouTube, um, this is, well, first I'm Austin, I'm from East Texas, and I um, would like to make this video into response to some new um, bills being introduced, being talked over, um, proposed bills, any future uh, anti-gun and or anti-weapon bills. This is a video for people who are not into the hobby of collecting knives, guns, hunting, camping, um, hiking, bushcraft. Um, this video is for those people who don't understand that. Um, if you're into those hobbies, then you're pretty much going to be on board with me and there's no real reason in watching the video because I'm not saying anything that you don't already know and or believe. But I would like to talk to those who do not understand and tell them all point of view. So, um, first off, um, I want to talk about the gun-free zones and the weapon-free zones. Particularly, um, New Jersey is a really bad one, uh, a b bad state about uh, these weapon control laws. Um, they're trying to get it where you can't even carry pepper spray or a tactical pin, or um, a blade um, in public areas. And uh, I, want, I want to just talk about that for a little bit. Um, all these mass shootings, um, let's just focus on the shootings for right now. All the mass shootings, where do they happen at? They happen in gun-free zones. They happen in schools. They happen in colleges, which is also a school. They happen in movie theaters. They happen on military bases where uh, people aren't allowed to carry their own weapon, but only the MPs can. Only the MPs can carry a weapon. Um, they happen in places where um, people are, by law, banned from fending for themselves. And for those of you uh, who are pro-gun-free um, zones or weapon-free zones, you got to ask yourself this question, why isn't the gun-free zone working? Why are all these mass shootings taking place? Um, and it boils down to a very simple answer. People with bad intent do not obey the law. They don't care about the law. The law means nothing to them. They probably don't even... Um, you know, stop on a stop, a stop light. You know, the law doesn't mean anything to them, so they're not going to obey it. Um, and this has repeated itself in history many times over. Um, so, let's, I'm glad I got that out of the way. Um, and banning different types of guns, knives, uh, pepper spray, tactical pins, flashlights, it's not going to solve anything. Let me ask you this. Um, this is, I'm not being sarcastic. Um, it might sound like it, but I'm just trying to, act, I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to give you an answer, a very simple answer. Um, we banned, we had the war on drugs here for a long time, at least since the 80s that I know of. The war on drugs have been, we've had a war on illegal drugs before then, but it really took off during the 80s with dare and all that stuff but um, you gotta ask yourself um, when you're in high school college um, well there was there an absence of drugs including alcohol um, it's a controlled substance so um, let's just say um, how well did the laws banning um, tobacco alcohol meth LSD, heroin, um, marijuana, how well did those laws pa um, work? Do we no longer have drugs on the streets? Um, do we no longer have um, a, a freedom from these vices? Um, let me tell you, um, if you've been, been in high school or college, how many underage kids do you know of that you can count on your hand um, used um, alcohol and tobacco before the legal age. I know of a lot of them. Um, you know, the laws don't affect people who don't 
care about the laws. So um, if you put a ban on um, drugs and that band isn't working, we're still getting tons of it into the um, um, into the states on a daily basis. Then um, h how well is the law working? Let me um, talk to you that. I'll talk to you about this from a historical standpoint. Remember Prohibition during the 1940s? Um, they banned the uh, sale, make, transportation, and use of alcohol, except for medicational purposes. And um, there was a lot of people, Al Capone, the Purple Gang, um, the Kennedys, um, they all got very rich bootlegging. But as soon as um, alcohol was legalized, there was no longer a demand for um, illegal booze, and they lost all their money, and we pretty much don't have those types of gangs anymore with that bootleg um, alcohol. Now, I'm not saying we should uh, legalize heroin or cocaine or anything like that, but it's just something to th throw out there. How does this um, uh, relate to weapons? Well, it's very simple. If you ban weapons, it's not going to ban weapons from people who want them and who are, plan on doing evil with them. They're going to get them anyway. So, um, another good example: prisons. You um, weapons are banned in prisons uh, for the inmates, but there's been many occasions of them making shanks, guns. Um, grouts, um, all types of stuff to kill their fellow inmates, but yet they're not allowed there. So how do they get in there? Well, the people broke the law and made the weapons. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, I, I want to uh, put this delicately, but it is futile to ban s certain things that people use for evil intent. So what's the solution? Well, I for one care about my family. I care, I, I care about myself, but I care a lot about my family and my friends. And I don't want anything bad to happen to them, so I carry a weapon. I don't have a concealed handgun permit yet, so I don't carry a gun. But I do carry a knife. I do carry uh, a tactical flashlight. I, um, uh, I carry... It's not really a bludgeon, but it's the Kubaton. It's on my keys. Um, you can use it um, to poke people and to cause some acute discomfort. But um, I don't do this because I have bad intent. I don't do this because um, I plan on harming people with this. I do it because, well, just in case. Now, uh, knives... It's probably the world's second oldest tool. It's probably the oldest manufactured tool in existence. And to me, to ban something like a pocket knife is it's ridiculous. Um, it's just an everyday tool. Um, let's see. This is a knife. It is a gentleman's knife. It, it just happens to be a ballet song, which is illegal to carry. But it's, it's nothing to be scared of. It's not a snake. It's not poisonous. It's not going to bite you um, if you um, leave it alone. It, it's not going to do anything. It's an inanimate object. The real problem isn't this. It's the people with bad intent. And until we learn to defend ourselves from people with bad intent and not just hide in the ground or hope that the police come in time, um, it's always going to be a problem. I wish there was a police department on every, um, well, let me rephrase this. I wish I could carry a police officer around in, in my back pocket in case I need one. Yes, it is their job to protect civilians, but the average, um, um, police call can take anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 to even 40 minutes for the police to respond um, depending on the traffic. What are you going to do during that time period if you're in need of assistance from 
because of someone threatening you with deadly force. What are you going to do? You're going to get on your knees and beg, tell them, please, no, don't hurt me. I'm going to, uh, I'll give you anything. What if anything is not what they want? What if what they want is your life? Because some, some of these things are um, gang initiation things. You have to kill someone in order to join all gangs. So sometimes giving money won't solve the problem. Uh, sometimes all you have to do, do is fight. And to ban things like pocket knives, guns, um, uh, flashlights, pepper spray. I don't get that. Pepper spray is on the lowest rung of um, the force continuum for police officers. And to me, it should be available to everybody. It's a woman's best friend to protect her against sexual assault or rape. Um, I can tell you from experience that it sucks to get sprayed, and it does work. Um, and why would you ban something that can save a life, save uh, someone's um, health, and keep them from using it? Um, it's like um, uh, it's like banning that aspirin uh, for people who have heart problems. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, and all of these things, flashlights, pens, uh, knives, they'll, um, they're not evil. They've been optimized for um, particular uses for self-defense, but they're just everyday items. They're just, they're just tools. And um, I, I've seen other tools been... Um, uh, Targeted hammers, screwdrivers, both very deadly, but, um, you know, no one makes a law about that. And t they're just the everyday items that make life easier. As uh, far as um, uh, cutting string, cutting up your own food, um, camping, hunting, sometimes the uh, knife is a life and death item. You look, if you don't have it and you're lost in the woods, life is going to suck for you. But if you have a knife, you have the ability to make fire, you have the ability to uh, uh, trap and hunt, you have the ability to um, fend for yourself. And that's the big problem, with I think, with people today. They don't want to fend for themselves. They want the government to do everything. And I'm not I'm not saying that we need no government. You know, there should be some kind of government hierarchy. But people need to learn to fend for themselves. Um, the government can't fix things that um, have been a problem since the dawn of society. Uh, there's always going to be mortal. There's always going to be rape. There's always going to be thievery and mugging. Um, there's always going to be dr illegal drugs. And the best that you can do is to fend for yourself when it's appropriate. By all means, call uh, the police department. I'd love to have them there. But if they can't sh they can't be there instantly. It's not like you push a button there's a police officer there. You have to be able to defend yourself in that time that it takes for the police officer to get there. Whether it's a gun, a flashlight, a tactical pen, a knife, pepper spray. Th these laws are pretty much devaluing the human life. Uh, the government's saying, you're not fit to fend for yourself. You're not fit to defend your family. You're not fit to defend your own self, your own body. And at that point, your body doesn't is, is no longer yours. It's theirs, because they say they're going to protect it when they don't have the ability to. And that's all. Um, I might make some other videos talking about this, this kind of vlog-style video, but I want I want you to think about uh, what I had to say, and um, hopefully I've enlightened you a little bit. I'm Asatsu5. Hope you all have a nice day, and I'm out.